Hello everyone, I hope each and everybody out there doing great and having good health. In this video, I shall explain the relation between uh, the molecular weight of a gas and the rate of diffusion or effusion of this gas. So, uh, I hope you see this picture on your book probably. And uh, by this picture, we will be explaining how uh, the effusion or diffusion rate of a gas is related with the molecular weight. So, according to Graham's law, as you know earlier, that according to Graham's Graham's law, you know that the the rate of diffusion or effusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the molecular weight of its gas. So what is the molecular weight and what is the rate of diffusion? To understand that at first we need to know what is diffusion and effusion. There are a slight difference between these. You know that diffusion means spreading. So when gases move from one place to another, so when it's happening spontaneously, then that, that rate of diffusion and fusion it's depending on the molecular weight of the gas. So, what Graham's law states, if, if I said that, that the rate, the rate of number one gas divided by number two, that is the proportion, is actually, is actually depending on the square root of the molecular weight of second gas by the first one so I shall explain this Graham's law in another video but this equation explains that the rate of this is Arnold's rate the rate of diffusion or effusion of number one gas is inversely proportional is inversely proportional it means the more molecular weight if the more molecular weight the, uh, the, the rate of diffusion will be less the lace of molecular weight will be increase the rate of uh, diffusion or effusion. What is explaining in this picture? Suppose this is one meter long glass tube having two opening. So if we have just put here with a cotton weighted with the concentrated ammonia gas. So we know that the ammonia gas NH3 gas and here is concentrated HCl gas then what will happen so if if we say that the ammonia gas is here which is actually uh, weighted with the cotton with, uh, with ammonia and here is hydrochloric acid so what will happen uh, after after this because we know that we know that HCl and ammonia if they react each other, they will produce an ammonium, ammonium chloride. So these ammonium chloride will be the production of having a reaction with ammonia and HCl. So there will be a white, a white ring, white ring of ammonium chloride here. But what is important to note is that from here it it passes through the 65 centimeter suppose that that will be 35 centimeter why the distance from ammonia is greater than the distance from hydrochloric acid because of the molecular weight so if I see the molecular weight of ammonia what are the relative atomic weight of nitrogen is 14 so we know that according to the carbon scale of relative molecular uh, atomic weight uh, from the periodic table I know that you know that nitrogen is 14 and hydrogen is 1 times 3 so if we add it will be 17 but what will be in the hydrochloric acid here we know that hydrogen is 1 chlorine is 35.5 so if we add we will get 36.5 Five. So, we kept ammonia here, we kept hydrochloric acid here, so we know that the relative atomic mass of nitrogen, hydrogen and chlorine 
when you put and got the molecular weight we got it that here is 17 which is much less than hydrochloric acid so as we know that 17 is less than hydrochloric acid this is ammonia and this is hydrochloric acid definitely the rate of diffusion or refusion of ammonia the rate of ammonia will be higher than the rate of hydrochloric acid it means as 17 is less than comparatively less than hydrochloric acid as because there is a less comparatively less molecular weight so the rate of diffusion or effusion of ammonia will be higher so that is why ammonia will will traverse more distance so when I got it, like 50% distance from here to here but ammonia passes more again more to the hydrochloric acid as because of because of it has less comparatively less molecular weight so according to Brahms as we know that the less of uh, molecular weight it traverses more the rate of diffusion or effusion will be more and that is why it traverses more distance here so it crosses 65 centimeter and 35 centimeter if it is total one meter long so it proves it proves that this weighted cotton diffused ammonia and this weighted cotton diffused hydrochloric acid but it crosses more pathway and it crosses less and then it produces ammonium chloride white ring that is visible inside the tube and we can say and we can infer the conclusion that yes the rate of diffusion of ammonia was higher than the rate of hydrochloric acid so that is the relation uh, between the rate of diffusion or effusion and the molecular weight so this is simply understandable that the rate of diffusion and effusion of any gas is inversely proportional to its molecular weight so that is the relation and see you on the next class i hope you are enjoying these classes and please let me know what is the requirement i shall adjust my classes based on your requirements take care stay well stay blessed bye